Good morning, Doc Dingers. It is time for the Lake Cunningham Tournament. This one's an important one. I need this for Angler of the Year points. Um, I'm currently in third, so if I have a really good finish here, that can move me up. Hopefully it does. Um, I have a really good game plan. I did some pre-fishing, so if you want to go check that video out, go back, watch the pre-fishing, then come back and watch the tournament video. Anyways, enjoy the video, and I'll catch you at the end. Peace out. This is beautiful Lake Cunningham, South Carolina. We launch right here at 7.45 in the morning. And I decided to start on a place that I pre-fished, which is this back area of these lily pads. Right now on Google Earth, you can't see it, but there's a lane that's wide open on the very back in like a foot of water. I knew they'd be shallow. God dang it. Oh shit, that was not even a freaking, that was a pick roll, but it's a fish. That was a good fish too, son of a bitch. Fish are freaking pissing me off, dude. How do you miss every time? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> well, things did not work out there, as you saw. Um, we, I decided that it was time to move up the river and fish up here because I know there's a lot more oxygen. So this is where I started next.
Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, and there's a bigger one. Okay. Okay. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. You got it. Okay. Sick. All right. Super number one, baby. I don't know how big he is. Let's see. You got to be 12. Oh. I don't remember what the... So he's 13 and a half, but that's, that's good. Get the shaky head under the trees and see if I can get something that way. Okay. Yep, twelve actually. Now that I'm gonna look at him. Thirteen and three quarters, I'll take it. Holy shit, that was almost really bad. I don't know if y'all saw that. Holy crap, my heart just freaking dumped out of my chest. Dude, what? No way. I don't know if you saw that, but I snapped, I like, he jumped, I slapped him, he flew into my net. I'm just trying to make sure I get a good picture because I don't want to have to now he's 13 and three quarters. All right, you win, buddy. You got out. 13 and three quarters. All right, so as you can see, I have two keepers. I need one more to finish up. And really, this is a tough day. So I think as long as I can get one more fish, I'll be all right. So I decided to go down the lake and look for something of a similar pattern. So I came down to this next little creek that comes in. It looked like it was a little bit dirtier water but I figured I'd give it a try, so this is where I went to next. All right, we're here. I'm gonna try and make something happen. We have a little bit of time left, so I'm gonna go up the river and then come back down. I'm gonna be able to throw a waffle flopper. We're gonna try it, that's for sure. Yes, okay, that's what I'm talking about. And there's another one right there too. See, I told you, I freaking knew right there was gonna be the spot. I knew that there were gonna be, this, this is fresh water coming in. There's a little bit of shade right there. I knew that was a good move. Okay, thank God, dude. Whew, we've been looking for that one for a while. That's number three. He was barely hooked and I was really scared he was going to come off. The whole time I was freaking stressing hard. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. One little tiny hook. You can see that. Very, very small, itty bitty hook. That's all I had in it.
Don't do it. Nope. Seventeen and a half, baby. Right there is the biggest bass I've ever caught out of this lake. Seventeen and a half. I think that puts us close to forty-five inches. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna not doing the math right now, but we're doing pretty solid. So, Whew. all right. It is very, very, very hot out here. I'm sitting in the car to get some AC. So you probably hear it blowing right now. I apologize for that, but I pulled through. Oh. I pulled through, got a third place finish. That's really exciting. I, I didn't know how it was gonna go because some of these guys caught some freaking giants. The guy who won caught a 23 incher. So I really thought, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to even place because a lot of people were catching them, but it seems like a lot of people struggled and didn't, weren't able to get their limit today. That 17 and a half freaking saved my day. Like, and I had to grind for it. I, I, I pedaled all the way down to the lower end of the lake just for that one fish. So thank goodness he bit. But uh, that was that was a tough one. It was a grinder, but we pulled through. Now it's gonna we're gonna load up. I'm gonna go home and drink an ice cold Sprite. Y'all have a good one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe for more. And you have a good one. Peace out, dog dingers.